Hi, and we are back, and next to me is Frank Islam. Mr. Islam, the Athenaeum Symposia is named after you. You are clearly a politically engaged philanthropist. I want to know what was it like to, tra to travel with President Obama on his trip to India? Well, first of all, the philanthropy is a very important part uh, of sharing and giving back. And it's, I'm always reminded and guided by the phrase President Kennedy once said, to whom much is given, much is expected. And I cherish my family's f finest tradition, that is sharing and caring and giving. So the investment that I make in the people when I give money is investment. I'm not looking at any return from the investment, but what I'm looking for good work and good deeds. And it is much more rewarding to give than to make money. To answer your question, I was honored when President Obama asked me to travel with him to India, where I was born, to be part of the India US CEO Summit Conference, which was happening in New Delhi, and to be also part of the parade, which to celebrate India's Republic Day, and also to go to the state dinner at the a presidential palace, also known as India, Rashpati Bhavan. And per perhaps I may not have pronounced it correctly, but it was a wonderful, wonderful occasion for me to, to share some of my thoughts and ideas how to promote commerce, trade, and investment. It is important, as President said many times, that the relationship between the U.S. and India will be defining relationship in the 21st century. So I believe, and I firmly believe, that we need to strengthen, broaden, and deepen our engagement with India. So part of the summit conference was also to tell the Prime Minister, Modi, who is a very smart man, who is a disciplined, very business-oriented, is some of the challenges that we face as an American businessman to do business in India. And those are improving infrastructure, improving in the, uh, the infrastructure is not very good at all, uh, roadways, waterways, bridges, uh, airports, and so on and so forth, so you cannot uh, promote trade as much, and also the fact that the, the lot of problems in terms of doing a business to India, because it takes a law, lot of times and many, many approvals to get the, to get the business rolling in, terms in India, and also the legal system is very old and ancient, so you cannot do, if you have a problem, you cannot go to the court, it takes forever to get it done. And in addition to that, we need, a, we need to also improve the 21st century workforce because if, if India wants to become a manufacturing hub of the world, and therefore they need to have a community college like Montgomery Colleges in that part of the world because not everybody can go to school. So that's one of the things that I'm a champion of. And I think the Montgomery College is working with India to have a more uh, community colleges in India. Now, the other challenge is that we told Prime Minister that the approval process in India takes forever, not just from the central government, also from the state government as well. But we did say that despite all the problems and challenges, despite all the potential promises and possibilities, India still remains an island of prosperity in an ocean of poverty. It is still a very poor country. But, you know, the people about the India are strong, vibrant, and resilient, especially the young generation, and they're very entrepreneur. They have entrepreneurs, and they have a spirit of uh, a attitude that they want to make a difference, and I hope they can make a difference, and I would hope and the Prime Minister Modi does make some of the changes that was advocated by our CEOs to tell him firsthand that these are the problems and challenges we face in order for us to invest in India, and I gave you some of those lists. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Frank. You're most welcome.